What is up everyone? In this video, I will show you an easy fix for when you push a product from Printful to Etsy as a unisex size and it shows men's on the variations. I have an easy way to prevent this in future listings as well. I have an easy fix for your existing listings that you've already pushed as unisex and all the variations show as men's sizing even though it's a unisex sizing. So on our Printful dashboard here, when you're pushing a listing to Etsy, the first option is unisex sizing. And if you push this to Etsy as unisex, it will show as this. So S letter size men's, M letter size men's, L letter size men's, etc. If you push it as men, it will show on Etsy as just the letter size. So S, M, L, XL, 2X for the sizes and it has no gender related to it. If you push it as women, it will show up on Etsy as S US letter, M US letter, L US letter, etc. So the ideal way to push your products for now until Printful figures out a solution for this is to push them all as men if it's a unisex size. So for this example, I'm doing a Bella Canvas 3001 shirt, which is unisex fit. I will push it as men's sizing, even though it's a unisex size. That way, when I push it as men's sizing to Etsy, it will show up as this on my Etsy shop, which is S, M, L, X, L, 2X. Super straightforward and clear for our customers when they're purchasing an item on our store. Now I'll show you an easy fix that will save you time and headache for if you've already pushed listings to your Etsy store as unisex and you've edited the variations and then they become unsynced on Printful. And I'll show you a quick example. So if we go back to my Printful store, you'll notice the listing where I've edited the variations. It says 15 not synced. In the past, I'd go ahead and edit this listing on Printful and I'd manually sync each variant, which took so much time and was such a big headache. But I found an easier way to completely skip this step on the Etsy side. So when you're on your Etsy shop manager dashboard, you'll go to listings and then you'll go and select the listing that you want to edit and you'll scroll down here to variations. So now go to edit variations and then you'll go ahead and delete color variation here as well as delete your unisex size variation. And now this part is extremely important that you follow exactly how I do it. Under add a variation, you'll select this drop down menu and then scroll down to the bottom. Under none of these work, click create a new variation and we will name this primary color. And then you will click add. And now we'll need to go ahead and add all the colors that we're offering on this specific listing. Depending on how many you have, you'll go ahead and add that there, the exact same process that I just did. And now here under add a variation, under choose variation type, click the drop down menu, scroll down to the bottom and under none of these work, click create a new variation. And this will be your variation for sizing. So you can name it unisex sizes. And the reason why I like to name it unisex sizes so that's very clear for the customer so that they know before purchasing that this is a unisex fit. And then go ahead and click add. And now we need to add our sizes. And for sizing, it's critical that you do it the exact same way that I do it. So we offer size small. For this, we'll just enter S. For medium, just enter M. For large, enter L. And then for extra large, just enter XL. And then for 2XL, you will only enter 2X. And you'll need to make sure you input your sizes exactly how I have it right here. If you have 3XL or 4XL, you'll also add it just as 3X and 4X. After we've added all of our sizes, we will go ahead and select all six boxes. So under primary color, select all of these three boxes. Under unisex sizes, go ahead and select all of these three boxes. And just to know if you're offering only one color for this product listing, you can skip the step for colors because you're only offering one color. You do not need to add a variation. If you do add a color variation when you're only offering one color, it will still keep all of your variations unsynced. So only add the color variation if you're offering more than one color. Once we've added all of our variations, we will go ahead and click update. Now we need to add pricing and there's an easy way to, to bulk edit our pricing. So select this box here, click update price and then change the price to whatever you want to sell your item for. So I'll do $24.99. This is just an example. And because 2XLs cost more, I'll adjust the price accordingly. So I'll go ahead and select the 2XLs for all colors and then click update price. And I'll change these to $26.99. After I've edited the price, I need to update the quantity. As you see, it shows one here for each item. So I'll go ahead and select the box here and then hit update quantity and change this to 999 and then I'll hit save and continue. And once you've completed that, we are good to go to save as draft or publish the listing. And for this example, I'll just hit save as draft. Either will work. Once it has been saved, we need to go back to Printful and then scroll to the top and select refresh data. It will take a few minutes for data to be synchronized. If you have a lot of listings in your store, over 100 or so, it will take several minutes. So just be patient and wait until it's completed. And once it has completed synchronizing, you can scroll down and you'll see the listing that was unsynced. It now shows that all 15 variants are synced. 
Super easy fix. This will save you so much time from having to go into Printful and manually syncing each variant. If you want to know what to avoid when doing print on demand, watch this video right here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.